Hi, my name is Sophie Bose and I'm studying AS Fine Art at Woodbridge School and this is a film about the course. I'm Minnie and I joined Woodbridge School 6 form from Ipswich High School. The AS course here is split into three units. The first unit is genres. My name is Ella and this is my genres unit. Okay, we started off with still life um, and we went through uh, various different ways very quickly uh, doing the same still life which was um, a bottle, a jug, a cup and a bowl of fruit. Um, here are more ways. This was uh, drawing but without looking at what we were drawing just at the objects um, and using the scissors instead of the pen to draw the lines. And here doing more I chose the, the, um, the objects to use and I chose a mandolin. And I started off in the same way, yeah, doing very different, uh, lots of different techniques. Uh, I used collage from newspaper, um, and again here, very chaotic, but with just the still um, parts of the mandolin. And this is my final piece um, of still life. Um, and this was the start of our physical relationships. We started off with a field trip to Norwich, and we're doing lots of very quick sketches there, and what we can uh, see, really um, taking photos of different people around. Um, here we looked at Kirchner after um, and the way uh, Vermeer, and we did the same thing um, after Manet, um, and we discovered how it was really a collaboration between the model and the artist, and not doing different ways from one mon monoprint, then um, developing that using drawing and then into watercolour. And here is my final piece. That's what you were drawing, uh, which produces interesting results. <laughs> um, and here was our life drawing. Uh, lots of um, very quick. just seeing that certain lines could create a whole person. We didn't need to necessarily go into detail. Um, here we were doing um, not having much control over the pencil, just letting it Shadows. letting it go um, and light using just chalk pastel. And here we went on to conceptual art, mm. uh, objects, putting them down on the paper and then uh, scribbling objects. around to continue the negative space with. Um, and I chose the, my desk lamp, created a three-dimensional um, sort of um, small abstract pieces of art. And then we um, chose one, well here I did two, um, and then tried them in different ways using the pencil and using... Uh, here we were doing, using it with wet paint. Um, where you put the paint down and then you work back into it with the lines um, in the opposite colour to what it is. <laughs> and this is my final piece of the abstract topic. And that's it. <laughs> the second unit is called the personal assignment. Hi, my name is Genevieve and I moved to a British from Fram College. For the personal assignment we could choose our own topic. I chose to study beauty. The personal assignment lasted for eight weeks and I decided to choose negative space. Um, I decided to look at different things that could fill a space to use so inside. Um, I also looked inside a box to see how much space was used. Pencil and, and wet paint charcoal and that also uses cardboard. Um, this page is just um, ideas of filling up a space and how you... I really enjoyed doing this because it, it's completely different, so it made more sense when I looked at it. I then looked at Andy and she used resin in her stools. And these are just some little ideas. At this point I made um, transcriptions of Rachel White Reed's work of her house. And this is, I used a milk bottle, orange from plaster, cloth, string, wool, because string. It's really fun and exciting and it can fill a space really easily. So this is some experiments. For the space of a party popper, then how would it go to the sides and how would it stay? So I used a okay. string. And this then resulted into my final piece with using cassette tape. And this is my final piece and this is a kinetic drawing of a space. It's now early February, and like the other two units, personal assignment and genre, this unit lasts for eight weeks too. This unit is the exam unit. The title this year is Encounters, Experiences and Meetings. 
and to help us prepare for the exam unit, the sixth form artists are going to... <laughs> Hola! Here we are, in Central Madrid, and our first stop is... The Prado! This is the Tisson! Here we are in the Cardamomo. It's amazing. We've just come out of the Reina Sophia. It has some amazing contemporary art in there. This is the Temple of Tibod, and it was built in 2200 BC. I joined the school in uh, year 8 and I'd like to show you my exam book. And instead of going to Madrid, I went to Sri Lanka on holiday and I made this book while doing it. And then this is the villa which I stayed in. And then just places where I yeah, went. I looked at um, the uh, water meeting the rock and how it all changed and how everything was very different. And, and the people around the place. Uh, here I went to a local boutique factory and tried uh, making some of the batik and here's what I made and collecting different items and the plane journey back uh, so that book was on holiday and this work I did at school um, I chose uh, two main strands to go on uh, strand one was the water meeting uh, lots of different things and two was the surfaces underneath my feet at Da Vinci and did a transcription um, here I tried representing the water using uh, chalk, felt pen and uh, wax crayon. And then here I looked at the Boyle family and did a little trial of it. This is where strand 2 ends. I carried on with strand 1 because I preferred it here and talking about different ideas that I'd had. On the photocopied boutique, uh, that the photocopying boutique. I looked at joining methods. And because on these ones I'd just done simple threads and I looked at different ways of joining them and did drawings of them. I did an ideas of what my final sculpture would look like. This is my final piece which I made in an eight hour exam. We don't just do sculptural final pieces, we also do big drawings like this and big paintings too. With the completion of the eight-hour exam final piece, the AS course is over. All the work is collected in, the two coursework units, genres and the personal assignment together with all the exam work, and it is marked separately by each of the three teachers to ensure standardisation and agreement. Then an independent exam board moderator comes in and checks the marks with a rigorous and detailed inspection of each student's work carried out in private. The exam board then awards a grade on the recommendation of the moderator. This is what the moderator reported last year. The centre is commended for the approach to the AS course which provides a clear and tangible structure. Within this structure, candidates are opposed, exposed to a broad range of disciplines, examine the work of the past and present and are encouraged to find their own voice. The sketchbooks have a thorough annotation which explain candidates' intentions and the progress of their investigations. The structure of the course has allowed opportunities for students to cover all the assessment objectives and they had a, what, had a benefit from this. The books were rich in experimentation and candidates had referenced a wide range of artists which informed their responses. The best thing about art at Woodbridge School is the freedom. You also get your own spaces. And you get to do whatever you want, from animation to sculpture to drawing and painting. Our advice to anyone considering doing AS art is to just go for it. Experiment. Work big. Just do it. Take risks. Be imaginative. Wow. Don't waste time. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Cheers out at Woodbridge. Thanks for watching. Hi, it's me again. In case you're wondering how we all did the last year, these are the results we got. <laughs>